Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where today I have a new frozen dinner from Weight Watchers Smart Ones. This is fish and chips. Now, there's a, quite a few British viewers on the Robert Dyer channel. They may be simultaneously pleased and horrified to see this because while this is a very familiar dish in British pubs and elsewhere, I'm very skeptical on the other hand that a frozen dinner is going to live up to the better versions across the ocean. And what this has is fish and chips, crispy Alaskan white pollock fillet with salt and pepper crinkle cut french fried potatoes. And you can see those on the box or you should be able to see them but the illustration is so blurry on the front here it's definitely it's not a good sign when you're advertising as a blurry photo of the product. And my spider sense is always tingling when I pick up a frozen fish dinner of any kind because in recent years the quality has not been that good. I remember the old Mrs. Paul's dinner. That was much higher quality. It had the tater tots on the side, the round uh, cod cake uh, fillet like this. Maybe some fish sticks, uh, some clams or something else, scallops were in there. For some reason that's been removed from the grocery stores today and we're left with only these diet dinners that usually have lackluster fish in them. Now to go with this I'm going to recommend and have today the Phillips tartar sauce. This is from Phillips Seafood Restaurants here in Maryland and they have some other ones around the country in the primarily the southeast United States. And uh, this is almost like what you would get in the restaurant in Ocean City. And in my opinion the best tartar sauce you can buy in a grocery store today. I also highly recommend their Crab House in Philadelphia Avenue in Ocean City. So this uh, on the front says it has eight points value on the Weight Watchers system. 310 calories, 22% fat for the day, 9% cholesterol, 660 milligrams of sodium, which sounds pretty good for something like this, and 9% fiber for the day. So now this package has to be used in a funny way like those frozen french fry microwave packages. So let's get the process started. Okay, so here's what we get out of the microwave. A portion of fries best suited for a very small British person I guess and here's the pollock fillet the fries appear to be well done now let's see if we transfer this over to the finest bachelor dinner there. Jeff Ramsey would approve. If we just get these all lined up here. Now let's try to cut this fish. If we have a have a nicely done fish here or not. Does appear to be flaky fish. 
pretty standard fried seafood aroma. So let's go ahead and see how it tastes. does have a very mild flavor. It's a good hint of salt to it. I have to say the flavor is pretty good of this fish. But the coating is alright. It's not anything out of this world. Let's try some of this with the... Uh, let's get a piece with some of the Phillips tartar sauce here. It adds a little extra tang to it. Now let's try one of these french fries. Here's one that's a little bit crispier. Well, it's a pretty good flavor, and maybe not quite as good as the TGI Friday's crinkle cut. But then again, this is a diet dinner, so I think they got to be above expectations. They do have a little bit of pepper on here, but now let's try another one of my secrets: is to put the French fry into this Phillips starter sauce here. It's a pretty good combination. Definitely adds some additional flavor to that. I would say the fish is a little more dense than I would expect. You'd think it would be lighter. It is flaky, but not quite as light. So you have a nice white fish that's got a very mild flavor. The coating probably could have been a little more flavor to it, but it's uh, on the thin side. It did not get that crispy. The fries themselves were much crispier than the fish fillet, even though I did have it in contact on both sides with the silver lining. But having said that, it was one of the better frozen fish 
products I've had in recent years and the french fries are notable because in a diet dinner these are just about as close to the regular crinkle cut french fries that you would get frozen and it's not like a diet soda or a baked potato chip where your brain instantly says this is not the real thing so I give them credit for that so overall this is a dinner that exceeds expectations it's not going to change your life but if it's cold temperatures you can't get to the seafood restaurants at the ocean right now and you've got your say you're on a diet or you're getting these diet dinners I don't think you're going to be able to do better than this with a fried fish and french fries for these amount of calories and fat so I'm going to give this four stars hope you like this video share it with your friends please subscribe and I'll see you next time Bye, everybody.